Are you looking for a fun and simple craft for your family this holiday season? I'm Jan Hal and welcome back to my channel. In today's crafting tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these orange pomanders. It's such a relaxing and simple craft that gathers the family around the table for some quality time. And the best part is the amazing aroma that you're going to smell while you're making these. So let me show you how it's done. <laughs> This project doesn't take a lot of tools and materials. Let's go over what you'll need. You'll need a fresh, firm orange without any blemishes if you can find one. You can also use limes. Look how cute this lime looks. You'll need a bunch of cloves. I like to buy them in bulk. I'll put the link in the description below where I find them at a good price. That smells amazing in itself. To make poking the cloves into the orange a little easier, you can use a toothpick, a paper clip, and sometimes you don't even need anything. They'll, the cloves will go into the orange really well. I find the fresher they are, the, e the easier the skin is to penetrate. If you want to make perfect circles around the orange, you can use elastic bands, washi tape, or you can use painter's tape or masking tape just to mark that circle and leave a place for a ribbon if you want to. And a ribbon if you want to put one around your orange, like I have here. And we'll be going over how to preserve the orange at the end of the video and I will give you the ingredients of the spice mixture that will help preserve them a little longer. So the first thing that you'll need to do is decide what design you want to put on your orange. You can do something as simple as just put cloves all over the orange or you can make spiral lines. On this orange I'm going to use these elastic bands to just trace along the outside of each rubber band so that I have even and equal lines and you'll place the rubber bands where you they need to go. So that works really well to help you keep those lines in order. That's what I love about this project is you can freehand and do whatever you want on these oranges. The kids love this because they can come up with some really fun designs on here. You can make little stars, you can do whatever. You want to keep a space between the cloves about the size of another clove. The orange will shrink down and you don't want the cloves to pop out. I like to work in one area at a time and then move to another area. You can put them in a dish or we just throw them out on the table. Everyone takes a handful and just start poking in those holes. But I'm gonna outline this area here. easy they're going in. So this orange is pretty fresh and I probably don't even need to poke those holes so it makes the process a little easier if you have an orange that's easy to push in. And this rubber band that's going all the way around I'm going to make it a little wider so that I can put a ribbon there. So instead of that elastic I'm going to put this washi tape down and around so that I can stay on track. then I can follow that guideline and have space to put a ribbon. And this is this is such a great project. You can just sit and chat. Full, it smells Christmassy. And before you know it, you'll be wanting to make another. It's smelling so good. I wish you could smell this. So you just continue that until you have it like you want. You may be wondering how long is this going to last? Now they'll last about a week and you can preserve and make that last a little longer if you put them in the fridge at night or you can use this spice mix that preserves them indefinitely. Some people will even preserve them in a fruit dryer or you can do that in a low temperature oven. And you'll know when the palm mounder is ready if you're dehydrating it when it is when you tap on it and it sounds hollow. I just like to make one and then make another one the next week, one or two, just to spread that out during the holidays and so I have a nice fresh smelling pomander. When you finish putting all your clothes in you can remove the rubber bands and the tape. I'm going to place a bow around that area where I left for a ribbon. 
Now you may be wondering, what do I do with these pole mounders? These are really cute sitting on a shelf, or you can arrange several in a bowl and use them as a centerpiece. So I've made up a mixture of spices that help preserve the orange. And you can get that recipe on my website. I'll put the link in the description below to the blog post with the recipe in it. Set the orange or lime in the bowl and just sprinkle it over the top. And you'll want to do this soon after you poke the holes in because then the juices that come out when you poke the hole, that is where the, the spices will collect. And once you have sprinkled the spice mix over the top, you can take just a craft paintbrush and brush off the excess. That's all there is to it. So go grab some oranges, gather your grandkids around or your family members and make an orange pole mounder. If you enjoyed that crafting tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day, have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next time.